we've got a right triangle that we want to solve for x. So if we look at x, we see we have the adjacent and the hypotenuse, which comes out to cosine. So we want cosine x equals adjacent 5 over hypotenuse 5 times the square root of 5. So I'll bring out the slide rule, and we want to get a square root, but I don't want to go to the root scales because I want it to end up on the C and D scales. So I'll go to the A scale, and I'll go up to 5 on the A, and if I look down, the square root on D is 22.5. Four. So now I can times that by five. So if I put the right index on the square root and I move down to five on the C scale, I come up with 11.2. Like we always say, we're looking for the angle. So it's an inverse operation times five over 11.2. So since we're already at 11.2, we want to do division. So a quick way to do that is to put the left index on 11.2 right there. And on the D scale, we will move over to 5. And because we did everything on the D scale, now we can just flip over to the cosine scale without moving the slide back. We are at 63.2 degrees. And we also know if we want to look at the sine scale, which is just reversed on that same line, we have 26.8 degrees as the opposite angle. Let's double check. So 5 times square root of 5 equals 11.2. So inverse operation of cosine, 5 divided by 11.2 equals 63.4 degrees. So guys, that means I read this wrong. The calculation was correct, but it goes by twos on the cosine scale. So that's actually 63.4, 63.4 degrees. And that would make this 26.6 degrees. This is a good example of always paying attention to your slide rule because it is a little tricky to always get it correctly done with the little tick marks that show up on this thing. Remember, it's only a mistake if you turn it in before checking your work.